Here is another common problem for stairways that use brackets to attach the treads to the stringers. And uh, of course that would be when the treads warp, twist, bow, cup, shrink, you name it, and the lag bolts or any of the screws that are used to attach the brackets to the treads become loose and um, the treads of course start to move so just to give you an idea you're usually going to use a lag screw like this or a lag bolt and it's going to attach the bracket to the tread there the bracket will attach to the tread and the stringer which of course would uh, make a nice connection for this but like i said every once in a while the lumber shrinks it uh, bows, um, cups, and these things get loose. For those of you who do not understand what I'm talking about, when I say that these uh, treads or the lumber will move, it will twist and uh, cup, you name it. This is kind of what I'm talking about. It could lift up in the front, lift up in the back. And of course, if it's too much, then the tread will need to be replaced, no doubt about it. If it isn't too bad, you can always try installing another lag screw with a washer, um, something like this. And before you do something like this, try to push the tread down. And, um, you know, you could do that with some type of uh, C-clamps. You could even take a board and shove the board underneath the tread above and push down on the top of this. Use some type of a lever to push down and then have someone else tighten it up. But this right here would be a starter fix. This would definitely be something you could start with. And if for some reason this does not work, then you can always drill a hole through the tread and of course you could do it to all three of them if necessary but if you have something sticking up on the uh, front but it's tight in the back you might just need to put one of these in and of course it might need to be countersunk so that the head of the bolt isn't sticking up and of course you don't want to create a trip hazard and this also might need to be filled you might need to put this in and then fill this with some type of a filler so that it's flat or at least there's not something that someone can get their shoe caught on while using the stairway. And this would be highly unlikely, highly unlikely you're going to step in there, but you wouldn't want to have that sticking up. And then, of course, you could simply pull it down by tightening the um, nut. And they do sell bolts that have a flatter head that might work. Um, I'll leave that up to you. You can get a little creative. They have carriage bolts that won't need to be countersunk in as much instead of uh, doing something like this. So carriage bolts might work better. And of course, I have seen um, bolts or screws with some type of a flat head that uh, might just work perfect for something like this. Now, if you have carpeting, something uh, this might work. You might be able to just uh, pre-drill some holes through the carpeting and then install a couple of screws. I've done this before. Um, try to get a longer, heavy duty or screw if you can. Of course, this would depend upon the fibers of the carpet. If you have a shorter um, carpet, then you might not even be able to use this idea. You have uh, carpeting that's a little thicker. You might be able to use this and with some thicker screws. And I don't think you're going to need to put a bunch of screws in there, but I don't know. You might need to put two on this side and then two on the other side, something like that to keep it from moving. And, of course, you could always go in from the back. This might be better. Again, you're just trying to keep it from moving. And if it's moving in the front, this won't do any you any good in the back, but it might do you good to put a screw in the front depending upon um, whether or not it's carpeting or you have some type of a finish on here. You know, if you have a finish on here on the top, you're going to have to do all of your repairs from the bottom. And that might be as simple as just moving the bracket, um, loosening or t taking it off, taking the lag screws out, 
and then simply sliding it in over to where you can get some new wood here um, because most of the time these lag screws when they um, become loose it's because the wood is no longer gripping to the lag screw and that again this could be a simple fix by simply moving it and reinstalling the lag screws into some fresh wood and this might not work uh, I'm just kind of throwing it out there you could use some framing hardware a lot of times when you have something on the top like this it could catch you know you're walking down here you, you don't think it's that big of a deal but let's say you're dragging something I've just seen too many people um, catch something on the stairs and something like this could be that something and if that's the case you might not want to use this method so anyway I hope it helps if it does you know what to do with the old thumbs up button and it is off to the next video